What's up, guys? It's your boy, the official Mikey, back with another story time for you guys. And today we are on Black Ops 3. But I want to get straight into the story, so be tuned. Don't leave the video. Alright, so the title of the video is how I, um,. How I basically got in a war with the janitor in my school. Basically, yeah. Story time basically is janitor, student, whatever. Fight, whatever. But it's a story time, so I want to get into the video. So basically, it was today, actually. Yeah, it was today, June 13th. So today, I was going to lunch. After I went down, I was doing work, and then we started to line up for lunch. This kid had hit his back on a ledge, like a railing, and the teacher told me to take him to the nurse. So I take him to the nurse, I tell her, tell the nurse what happens, blah, 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 he bangs his back, whatever. She says, okay, go. And then I do this thing with her because I used to always go to the nurse and be like, oh, my stomach, my head, anything. I was like, oh, I don't feel good, like over-exaggerating, just like being retarded. And she says, go back to class, like joking around wise. And after that, I went with the front lady who was selling all these like pencils that smell good like it has a flay you go it, the it's pencils with like a smell it was called smensels and it's not smensels something else but it it um she was selling stuff and um when she was selling that i went up to her so when i went up to her i always go there after like lunch or something and and when I go there for lunch and stuff, I just stay there until my class comes down. So when my class came down, I didn't see them. They were already in the lunchroom. So when they were in the lunchroom, I was like, yo, where's my class? I'm waiting for them. So they're not there. And then a few 10 minutes, 20 minutes later, I go in and I see them. And I'm like, you guys have been here this whole time. And I didn't know. Are you sitting? No, I mean, are you sitting? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right? And then I see them. My teacher asks me, where were you? I said that I stood there. I didn't see them, and I just came there now. So after that, um, we are still in lunch, right? So I mess around with my friends. You know, if you guys know that prank, um, you put water in your hands, you have a water bottle, you put water in your hands, and you, like, splash it at the person and pretend you sneeze, like, you put it, you go, at you, and you, you take the water from your hand and you throw it at them, and it seems like you sneezed on them. <laughs> it was a prank, and when I did it, I did it another time, and my teacher told me to stop. So when I stopped, I said, okay, and then I guess I waved my hand around, and I still had water on it, and I splashed this girl. So now I put the cat back on. I'm ready to leave. And the, this stupid fat janitor, bro, comes in. He says, you need to stop. You need to stop splashing people with water. I'm like, yeah, I did stop. And it's just a prank. So I don't see what the problem is. Then he takes my water bottle, like literally grabs me takes my water bottle and throws it in the trash can because at this time he was like taking a trash can to the thing to um the lunch room so people when they're done with lunch they throw it in so he throws it in there mind you mind you the water is full to the top with water full to the top and this big fat Shaquille O'Neal looking guy stupid er, looking self throws it in there full to the top water and that's when I got mad, and I literally swung my hand about to fight this guy right now. So I swung my hand. My my fist is close to his face. So that happens. And now I'm pissed off. I'm going up to class. My teacher asked me what's wrong. What's wrong? I told her. 
then I tell her I want to fight somebody, I want to fight them right now. She's like, okay, but just calm down. You need to calm down. That gets me more mad when people say that. So when she said that, I just got frustrated. And when that happened, I, was, I just like walked around a little bit because it was recess time at this time. Sat down, cooled my brains off. Played a little fingerboard. I was bored because I bring fingerboards. Then, after that, I just cool down. So, me and my friend go to the bathroom. I ask my aide. Then she says yes to him. And I'm like, can I go with him? And then, boom, I tell him what happens in the bathroom because he was curious. He wants to know what happened. So, I tell him. And he's like, wow. He's a douche. And he's like, he's like freaking out over here with me. And I'm like, yeah, we talk it out. He knows. And the day goes on. My dad always picks me up at the end of the day at like 2.55, 3 o'clock when, when we start getting this like announced to like line, or no, teachers tell the class, their classes from grade to grade to go to where the gym, anywhere to go line up for their buses. So at this time, my dad picks me up. And I wanted to complain to the office. And I, and once I saw him, he didn't know. So I was like, hold up, hold up, stay here. I'm going to go complain. Because the office was like literally one foot away from him and me. And I would go in the office. And he was on the phone with my mom at the time. So when he was doing that, he was like, okay, hold up, I'll call you back. And then I told him what happened. He was like, because at this time, he went to work at 2, and when he picks me up, it was 3, or no, 2.30 he goes in. He been there for, like, he left work at, like, 20 minutes ago at that time, and he goes pick me up, and he's like, you can't do this, and I stay here because I have to go back to work. That's what he said. And then when he said that, I was like, oh, yeah, true, true. This is not, like, this is not any of my time, but he, like, touched me, and I'm not okay with that. Something's going to happen to him tomorrow, whatever, whatever. I was assuming that... I was assuming out of my butt at that time because I was pissed. So, right there, I say all that. Then he's like, it's all right. Don't waste time on this person. So, I tell him he's not okay with him putting his hands on me. Like, he, he grabbed my hand to take my water bottle. And after that, it just like, that's it. And then I went home. I'm not telling my mom, though, because she's going to flip. But, yeah, so I have to be pretty quiet. But, yeah, so that was basically a story. This is a throwback story time days because I did this back in September and never did it again till this day. So, guys, go subscribe to Kazi in my most recent video before. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm playing Black Ops in this video, which is pretty cool. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. I can't believe I didn't see him. Make sure to smash that like button. Turn that um, notification bell on to be a part of the notification squad. Come part of the Mikey family. And um, uh, uh, follow me on Twitter. Trying to hit 30 followers. And I will see you guys. Wait, let me kill this guy. I will see you guys later. Peace, everybody. Carry a story time. Alright, peace, guys.